Italy begins stripping lesbian mothers of their parental rights. Here's a summary of the article. In conjunction with its crackdown on the rights of same-sex parents, the Italian government has begun retroactively stripping same-sex parents of their legal connection to their children. Lidi and her wife Viola are reportedly one of the first three lesbian couples to have their children's birth certificates changed after the country's right-wing government announced in March that state agencies should no longer register the children of same-sex couples. The couple doesn't know why they were targeted as one of the first to have their legal status changed retroactively, as in most cities the policy has been focused on new babies born. While same-sex civil unions have been legal in the country since 2016, same-sex couples do not have the right to adopt, thanks in part to opposition from the Catholic Church. Until March, there were several Italian cities where same-sex couples could be listed as parents, as opposed to mother and father, on birth registrations. Under current Italian law, the member of a same-sex couple who is not legally recognized as a child's parent could lose custody if the legally recognized parent dies or the relationship ends. In the city of Padua, where Finesso and Zambon live, 27 families have gotten warning letters that one parent may lose parental rights and be stripped of their place on their kids' birth certificates. This post received a score of 32,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. That's what she campaigned on. It's so depressing that this could possibly be a campaign point and not a top secret plan. I know. Imagine if a prominent political party campaigned on the premise of stripping rights from people. Good thing the world currently looks to have so many hugely awesome politicians with the best integrity and moral compass so that there's no chance this becomes our timeline. Great work everyone, freedom is here, we can all go home now. Good thing the world is facing a massive loss in biodiversity and catastrophic climate change. What would we do if we couldn't deflect with basic bitch tribalism? Who cares about existential problems anyway? Bring on the hate. The sad part is some people will actually try to say, don't worry about X, worry about Y. As if both things aren't huge problems. Or as if we can only focus on one thing at a time. And then they'll turn around and fight every solution to Y anyway. You can't worry about X or Y when Z is a minority attempting to, let's see what is that again, live their life. This is awful all around, but it's especially shocking that they're applying this retroactively to birth certificates previously issued. It's deliberately cruel. Greater than this is particularly horrific for another couple, Vanessa Finesso and Christina Zombin. Finesso is the one who gave birth to their daughter after undergoing IVF in Spain. Even though she used Zombin's egg, Zombin has been threatened with the loss of parental rights by the government. Finesso has cancer and is worried that if she dies, her wife will lose custody of their daughter. This is so messed up. I hope they can seek political asylum. Has anyone heard about the gay man who wanted to adopt and they told him that he could only have a defective child nobody wanted? He was finally able to adopt a little girl with Down syndrome and physical complications. She was considered unadoptable. He is such a wonderful father and the girl was flourishing. There was a beautiful article about them years back. I don't know how to apply a link here. I'm not technically inclined. But I hope you guys look up their amazing story. I hope they can remain a family through all of this. A child with two loving parents is surely better than a child with no parents. Not according to Italy and its new, return to fascism, program. Edit. Apparently I forgot a letter. No room for love. There's room for love. Love of hating others. Love of money. There's no room for empathy. This is how you know pro-life and pro-family crowds don't actually give a fuck about the children. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.